Percentage Bias Differential Relay for Power Transformer To understanding the principle of differential relay, here example is taken for a single phase power transformer. Here N1 is going to is the turn ratio of the transformer. E1P and E2P are the induced EMP in the primary and secondary winding respectively. I1P and I2P are the primary and secondary current respectively. I1S and I2S are the relay current of primary and sec secondary side of the power transformer. During normal operation or during normal load condition, the relay current will be I1S minus I2S. Therefore, during normal operation, um, relay current sends little bit current, therefore relay will not operate. But during fault in this zone, Mm, the relay will relay current is no longer I, I1s minus I2s, it will be I1s plus I2s as shown in this figure. Hence, relay will send a trip signal. This is the basic principle of the differential relay. A schematic diagram for an operation of differential current protection scheme for three phase power transformer. Operating 50 MB 132 by 33 KB YNDN transformer has been shown in this figure. In this figure, phase series used in the HB side is 400 by 1 and LB side is 1000 by 1. ICTs are used in either side of the transformer for phase and amplitude matching so that under normal load condition, relay current for um, both, the, uh, both the windings shall be same. Ratio of ICDs in the start delta side is uh, 1 is 2.5475 and ratio uh, of ICD in the star star type CD, ICD is 1 is to 1.1429. Restraining coil are used and uh, for um, for avoid unwanted tripping of the uh, relay or maloperation of the relay uh, when the restraining force is less than the operating force then the relay will send a trip signal this is the principle of the operation of three phase differential relay but in case of differential relay no such ICDs are required for phase and amplitude matching it is automatically done in the numerical algorithm mm, only required is the uh, relay current input of the either side of the partner partner from the phase series from either side also required data uh, of the rating of the power transformer vector group of the power transformer and HVL LB side of the uh, voltage rating of the power transformer and also on the CT ratio of the HV and LB side um, the um, I difference current and I bias current is calculated uh, here when the I bias difference current is more than um, I bias current for a predefined value or predefined slope then it will send a trip signal by means of Q1 and K3 also send a annunciation for the operating staff by means of L101 and L102 now what is the differential zone of the power transformer in this diagram the differential zone has been shown in this figure mm, between phase series of other side of the power transformer there exists LA in the HB and LB side of the power transformer since differential current uh, input are taken from phase cities of primary and secondary side of the power transformer the entire zone um, from primary side phase city to secondary side phase city remain in the differential zone if any fault occurring within this zone the relay shall operate and if any fault outside this uh, in differential zone it is called the through fault current it is required during two fault current relay will maintain a stable condition. What are the matching factor for relay current? For HV side, it is uh, expressed as KMP HV equal to ratio of the HV CT by HV full load current, and for LB side, it is KMP LV equal to the ratio of the LB CT ratio by LB full load current. For example, for 50 MB 132 by 33 KB power transformer, CT ratio for HB side is uh, 400 by 1 and LB side is 1000 by 1. HB full load current is 219 ampere. Therefore, the amplitude factor for 50 MB 132 by 
for each beside is km page fee equal to 400 by 219 that comes to 1.826 now matching factor for lb side is will comes to km lp equal to 1000 by 875 that's come to 1.1429 as the full load current for lb side is 875 ampere what is the power unit current in differential delay relay measure the i difference in power unit quantity that is vector sum of the i1 and i2 where i1 is the power unit current of for hv side and i2 is the power unit current in lv side and i bias current is the average of scalar sum of i1 and i2 uh, here i1 equal to hv secondary current by hv secondary current on full load and i2 equal to lv secondary current by lv secondary current on full load for 50 mba 132 by 33 kb power transformer on 50 percent load i1 comes to 0.5 per unit as the uh, city ratio in hv side is 400 by 1 and lv side is 1000 uh, by 1 full load current in hv side is 219 ampere and secondary side is 875 ampere for hv secondary current on full load that's come to uh, 219 by 400 equal to 0.5475 and lb secondary current on full load that will comes to 875 by 1000 that is 0.875 similarly for i2 for 50 percent load uh, will be 0.5 per unit i difference is the vector sum of i1 and i2 comes to zero and i bias is the average uh, value of the sum of i1 and i2 that will comes to also 0.5 per unit now what is the characteristics for differential curve the characteristics of uh, differential curve has been shown in this uh, in this diagram here y axis shows the power unit quantity in i difference and x axis in power unit quantity in i bias here there is uh, three slope actually uh, first uh, for region 1 for region 1 uh, um, where uh, i bias is greater than 0 but uh, i is less than i s 1 by k 1 k 1 is the initial slope uh, and uh, where the i difference is greater than i s 1 for uh, sending trip signal from the relay for region 2 where i bias is greater than i s 1 by k 1 but less than i s 2 Mm, I S2 high difference must be greater than I bias into K1 for sending trip signal and for region 3 that is I S2 greater than uh, is less than I bias but less than I S H S2 by K2 where high difference must be in greater than K2 into I bias my minus I S2 into K2 minus K1 for of um, operating region the yellow portion shows the restraining region and uh, the above the yellow portion it shows the operating region of the relay a uh, triple slope percentage bias characteristics is implemented both the flat and the lower slope provide the sensitivity for internal faults under normal operating um, operation steady state magnetizing current and the use of tap changers result in unbalanced conditions hence differential current to accommodate these conditions the initial slope k1 may be set as 30 percent this ensure the sensitivity to fault while allowing for mismatch when the power transformer is at limit of its step change and ct ratio error for region in k2 slope uh, the current uh, above rated uh, extra error may be gradually introduced as a result of ct saturation hence the higher slope may be set to 50 to 80 percent to provide stability under through fault conditions above uh, this region it is set for is hs2 that is high set current for is in this region if i difference is greater than high set is hs2 relay will trip irrespective of k1 and k2 and that is it will not depend on k1 and k2 slope now what is magnetizing in restraint whenever there is an abrupt change of magnetizing voltage for example, when a transformer is initially connected to a source of AC voltage, there may be a substantial surge of current through the primary winding that is called inverse current. In an ideal transformer, the magnetizing current would rise to approximately twice its normal peak value. 
Reflex current is a regularly occurring phenomena and should not be considered as fault as we do not wish the protection device to issue a trip command whenever a transformer is switched on. And this presents a problem to the protection device because it should always trip on an internal fault. An inverse current waveform is rich in harmonics, especially second harmonic, whereas an internal fault current consists of only fundamental. We can therefore develop a distorting method based on the second harmonic content of the inverse current. The mechanism by which this is achieved is called second harmonic blocking. What is overfluxing restraint? Sometimes the protected transformer is subject to overfluxing due to temporary overloading with a voltage in excess of the nominal voltage or a reduced voltage frequency. For example, when a load is suddenly disconnected from a power transformer, the voltage at the input terminal of the transformer may rise by 10 to 20% of the rated value. Since the voltage increases, the flux also increases. As a result, the transformer's steady state excitation current becomes higher. The resulting excitation current flows in one winding only and therefore appears as a differential current which may rise to a value high enough to operate the differential friction. Such uh, phenomena should be uh, treated as a mal operation. Such waveform have a significant high uh, fifth harmonic content. We can therefore develop a restraining method based on fifth harmonic content of the inverse current, the mechanism by which this is achieved is called fifth harmonic blocking. Now, what is zero sequence filtering? An earth fault in the three phase system will always produce a zero sequence current component. With earth Y connected winding, this zero sequence current flows through the neutral conductor to earth. With delta connected winding, this zero sequence current component just circulate around the delta connected winding. So in the case of Y in delta transformer, an external fault will cause zero sequence current to be measured by the Y CD phase CD, Y side phase CD. However, because this zero sequence current is trapped on the delta side, it is not measured by the delta side phase CDs. This could cause maloperson if not compensated. Before the advent of numerical delay, this was handled by the configuration involving interposing CDs. Numerical relay, however, can do this by filtering out the zero sequence component in software.